Alright. Just waiting to do a clutch spring chingadeiros for two step. Yes, two step. Yes. Yeah, waiting. Yes. Waiting. Well, okay. Yeah, all that. So <laughs> all I did was <clears throat> con conceive of design. AutoCAD, uh, computer test, prototype, and then build, create and build the final version of this rig. <laughs> you saw it, you know. We'll show a picture. Hold on, I'm going to take a picture right now. Okay, what are we really doing? Now, we now that I showed everybody what I did. Is this recording? Is there a red dot on the front? There's a red dot on the front. Okay. So what's going on, huh? We are on a Sunday. I believe it's a Sunday. Isn't it a Sunday? Yeah. And we're getting extreme close-ups. Yeah. Um, no, this is extreme. No, 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 no. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we are going to be changing the spring in your clutch. Or to make... Do pop, the, pop. The pop, pop. Yeah, some two-step. Some Not a dance, just a two-step. Some two-step launch control launches coming soon to a video near you or on YouTube. Or YouTube. You can come you. and be near it. Or phone. Or yeah. yeah. Whatever yeah. you want to watch it on. Yeah, as long as you go to YouTube. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's do this. We need to obviously make some room because look what we got. Look what's going on in here. Look at this. Man, I, I know I keep saying it. Look, it's brand new. Look at it. still has QR codes all over. That's after a serious bath and a serious dirty. That's how new it is. It's got 50 miles on it, 60, maybe 60. And we've had it for months. We've made, yeah. Anyway. What annoys me is just all the uh, little barcode stickers are stuck everywhere. But here's what we're gonna do. I kinda like them. Here's what we're gonna do. You would like them. In uh, October, we're going to Pismo, and guess what's going? Both cars. That's right. So, stay tuned for that for sure. Right now we're gonna do pop pop clutch. We gotta see what this thing will do. Uh, so well, here's what happened. Just a quick summary. We uh, we um, installed the 4RWR four R W I multi mode <laughs> multi mode tune. Right? It was a little moody. And it is good for 95 and 91 feel. And we put some 95 in it, man, Brandy. And then me and Dean and Dandy went out. <laughs> me and Dean and Dandy went out and did some zero to sixties, and it rocked. Our fastest time was a four hundred one eight on ninety five octane with the four R W I multi -mode, mode tune. Shut up. So we ran it on uh, ninety one as well. That uh, we ran about a four six. I'm not showing me right now because I don't have my hat on. Anyway. Multi mode, <laughs> multi mode switch is right there, right there. That one. Last time I tried to focus on it, it didn't work. It's in the thumbnail, unfocused. Anyway, so that's what's going on. We're gonna put the clutch in right now because we all of our tunes right now have launch control at 2300. So to utilize that uh, launch control at 2300, the, the two step, you have to have the spring in there. Otherwise, when you push the brake and the throttle it starts to come up on RPM and it starts to do its two-step and then the RPMs drop and it drops out of two-step. We'll be right back. I forgot you gotta push the brake to start. Oh yeah. Do you have safety devices? Oh man, I did a decent job of getting that trailer out of the way, but it's still, I mean, you're lined up to hit it. So basically, if you uh, crank your wheel hard to the right, and come are you okay to do this today, Gimpy? Oh, yeah. Alright, you just stay on the path you're on. Oh my god! I'm kidding. If you stay
stay on the path, you're on, you're good. All right, too hot out here. Grab the key and come in through the side. I'm shutting this down. <laughs> That too. All right, what are you doing? I'm gonna move this thing over so we can get this clutch out of it. Danny just keeps going around, doing this, doing that. Wouldn't it be easier to open the door? Yeah, here you what? Because you have woman hands? I just got a manicure. here. I'm putting on because I want to. See that computer over there? I gotta touch it in a minute. We got some stuff coming up. We got some stuff going on. We're working on big turbo stuff. So, um, that means I need to touch that computer in a minute. And I don't want to do it dirty. It's a new computer. Don't judge me like that. Those are kind of cool. I know. Do you have any yet? No. I haven't even changed my oil yet. Dude. I have been dealing with things at home. I know. Alright, here we go. Oh. Boom. Oh. Dude. That? Do we, to, do we have to take that deal off? Do we have to take your belt off? Do I have that new tool that I just bought? I want to see how it works. You have it here? Yes. Of course we do. We'll be right back. Whether we do or not, we're doing it. We'll be right back. All right. What's going on over here? I just bought a tool off of Amazon. You got a new tool? Yeah. Let's see it. Pull it off. Let's see it. That's pretty nice. You got to pull it off and show it. You know how much it took me to do the... Yeah. The, you got, that's the part you got to demo. I already uh, released your clutch though. So, now you just unrelease it. Watch, go back the other way. Boom. Now pop it off, unthread it. You gotta show them how it works. You can't just slap it on there. Not on the camera. <laughs> I mean, you can, but, you know. And so, that's another cool thing. So Dean ordered one, and it came with this ring, and they work much better with the ring, definitely. Because was, was it tried to be used without the ring? Huh? Did you guys try to use it without the ring? No, no, uh, there are some that come without a ring. Ah. So we get the ring, put it on like here. Yeah. yeah. Then we thread it. Make sure you don't cross thread it. I have to have one of these. I will talk to some people, but I know. Ah, let's see. Let's see if Danny can get this. Okay, there he goes. He's got to start with you. Just get it threaded in. Ooh, wait. Danny doesn't know what he's doing, though. Danny doesn't know what he's doing. There he is. Oh, you know. It's the first time. I've never used it before. It's a new tool. That Boom. is awesome. Bells loosen up. Yeah, that's nice. I like it. All right. 
We'll go ahead and pull the belt off. I mean, you're right there. <laughs> you know how many belts I've actually taken off? How many? One. You've blown one belt ever in your car? I have not blown a belt yet. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I don't push it. There is something wrong with the way I drive. That's all. Okay. I'm okay with it. Don't do that. Careful. Yeah, I could probably... Oh, that's all right. Yeah, that works. What? You're good. You probably what? I think you're good. Nothing. What were you going to say? I was going to say you could probably, like, leave it, uh, you know, release, but whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, belt. I think I just put that belt on recently. Did we have it where we could read it? Yeah, we did. Okay. All right. Let's do this. You can probably leave that on because we're going to uh, need it. Oh. Right? Or you can take it off. You can just leave it here since you don't even blow belts. I'll put it right there on my box for you. <laughs> no, I have it for just in case. I know. I'm just kidding. Because I know some people and I might be able to get one of those. Should we say who it's from? Not yet. Okay. But it is pretty It's good. nice. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. It's nice. I like it. It, it did a good nice. job. And I didn't even know it came from these people when I bought it. All right. Uh, we're going to pull this primary off. We'll be right back. So we got the belt off, now what's happening? Uh, we have to take some stuff off. Who's we? Who's this we you speak of? So let's see. We're taking this chingy there off? Yep, we can take that off, so... I think we'll go ahead and pop the sway bar loose like we did last time. Isn't that what we did last time? I thought we jacked it up. I think we did. I think we jacked it up. You want to jack it up or take the sway bar loose? I feel like if we take the sway bar loose on both sides, we drop this way down, take it loose, drop this way down, turn this way down, that'll actually give us more room than jacking it up. It's up to you. It's your well, party. Well, we jacked it up last time. Let's do it different this time. It's up to you. This is your party. I'm just a clown. Are you going to hold this camera or are you going to pull that bolt loose? Because well, this is what's happening right now. Idiot! <laughs> See what happens when you give is options? That a 19? Yes. Eight. Yes. It's the same as the one that was on the Eighteen. shock in the front. Eight nineteen. Eighteen. Oh, let's take that back. Let me refresh what I said. Unless the bolts that were on those wait. Pushings were a little different. Eighteen. Where's the eighteen? Put it on that one to the front. For the uh, for the tower. Huh? For the limit strap. Is that eight? 18 or 19? 19. Okay, that's what I was remembering. Whatever. I believe you. I just need it. Don't pull my finger. Jack. Dude, this thing is no joke. We need a wrench. That's a 14. Just kidding. Is it? Plus. All right, what's going on now? What size is that wrench? Not big enough. <laughs> so what size is the wrench that we need? 19. What size is that in your hand? 19. I mean, we need 18 for something, just not maybe not right now. I just remember the thing. Really? Yeah. Well, Evil Knievel was on there, so that is too bad for you. Wow, that must have been way before my time. Shut <laughs> Wow. It's a 21. One? Wow, okay. Well, it is the bat. It's bigger. This is going to be awesome. This is better than jacking it up. I'm telling you, right now. Right now. Right freaking now? Or just right now? Right now. Alright, what size is this? 
Yeah. This be. is that one that you have. It means it's an impact. You get an extension? Nope, I don't have to. What? It's this size. That seemed kind of loose on there, though. That's all I got. What? I don't have magic impacts. It's not that loose. It's not loose. It's a little bit loose. It's not the right socket. Everybody just get off me. <laughs> but it's going to have to do because that's what we got right now. I could use a non-impact metric, I guess. Probably could. I probably have. We'll see what happens. Have a non-impact extension. This is about making... Wrong work. size socket. This is about making things work that could, could work. Don't do this at your house. But we're doing it here. Was that even tightened on there? It wasn't very really tight. Anymore, was it? Maybe it's all that torque from the engine making it back up. Probably. Yeah. All right. You know, oh, we gotta go burn out in the garage. Hmm? Huh? What? We gotta go get some clutch tools. Remember how my pucks were jacked? What the puck? Let's see. We got enough. So I just dug out the box of clutch parts tools. Ready? Check it out. We have started to amass quite a bit. We got some extra weights from Travis's get up. We got a Polaris clutch puller. We have a Can Am clutch puller. We have a Can Am clutch puller. We have uh, some old weights. Can you see in there? If we ever need to pull the, the pins for the. We'll come back to that. Rollers. If we ever need to swap rollers, we got that. We have Travis's probably original spring. Uh, yeah, we got all this stuff. What in the puck are those? 10, 12. These are new pucks because the last time we had trips clutch apart, remember there was an issue with the clutch. Remember the pucks were jacked. So what we got to do is replace them. I ordered these a while back. Those are OEM pucks, I think. So you gotta get the pucks off. You gotta get the puck off and the puck on. And this is our, any, any guesses, comment below. I don't like the color, it's not green. They don't make a green one. Well, they need to. We gotta pull the clutch off and this spring goes in. And what this does, is it'll make the car, the stall speed of the primary clutch, it brings it to 2300. We're about 2100 right now, so that doesn't work out with the launch, with the two-step launch control stuff. We need to put the button into. Don't let me forget. So that doesn't work out, and the reason that doesn't work out is what happens. You roll in the throttle with the brake on. It tries to go up to 2300 and do its pop, pop, two-stage stuff, and it can't do that because at 21, the clutch engages, and when the clutch engages, it brings the RPM down. I think I already said all this, but I'm saying it again. We gotta put that in to make it work. I like the technical term of pop up. We are, I say we're gonna hit, um, I say we're gonna get in the freeze on a 4 RWI, 95 octane. Better not. I'm predicting. Better not. Well, let's do this. Let's get the primary out. Get over here to my filming station. Did just have this clutch off, so hopefully it doesn't get stuck on there too uh, violently. All right. I'm Don't putting away the tools I need and needing the tools I put away. Here we go. Ready? Ready for a big pop? <laughs> pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. So, I'm pretty happy with that. Now, here's the interesting part. Do what? You what? What? Just watching. <laughs> Shh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I don't do this enough. Woo! Bam! You're getting faster. Yeah. Well. To be fair, the sway bar was out of the way. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I gotta remember how this all happens. 
We'll be right back. Okay, so we're using this. This is cool and all, except the problem we have is, you know, maybe we need a couple of washers or something. I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter, it came with a nut. We're gonna use the nut. We're just gonna run this nut down right there, which actually goes on quicker anyway, really, in reality. All right, we're gonna snug that down, nothing crazy. Uh, we're gonna grab a T30. All right, grab our T30. And here we go, we're gonna get to the primary finally. We marked it, we did mark it, just in case. Right yes. There. All right. Okay, we got all those T30s loose. Pull those off, I'm just gonna pull them out of the way. I don't wanna spit them all over the place. I don't know what's gonna happen right here craziness could ensue. So I'm gonna pop this thing out of the vise and we're gonna use some power power some power tools. Are you ready for that? Stubborn, stubborn. What do we need a customer tool? Here it comes. Here comes the spring. Are you ready? Oh I forgot we don't have a stock primary. I forgot about that. We have a 2100. So that 2100, I, I mean, I did remember that. That's, that's not true. So this 2100 works great. Uh, when we put this in, it made a huge difference. But it doesn't work for our pop pot. We need it to be at 2300. So here we are. It's apart. Not, not much crazy to see in here. We'll blow it out real quick and we'll pop that spring in let's take a look at this what do we got oh wow yeah there's a difference so the orange one's thicker taller we're gonna we're gonna pull this thing out on the street and uh hear the pop pop right sure all right danny yes yes all right. definitely i'm gonna blow this out real quick just for fun More fun. All right, here we go. Let's drop this thing in and do it. You ready? Are you ready? Danny, are you there? Sometimes. I'm hungry. Mark. Set. Who's Mark? Exactly. Where's the other Mark? This in there somewhere. I see it. I marked it in a crappy spot. I'm not gonna lie. But there it is. All right, let's put all this back together. We'll have to line that mark up again. But See, we're gonna have to change my spring to the blue one. Or am I gonna change it to the blue one if I'm going back to? I don't know. Uh, it doesn't matter what tune you're running. I'm still debating whether to stay with E85 or not. Well, you don't need the E85 for some pop pop. Don't need. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna spin this on the power tools, and then once we're close, close, we'll line everything up. All right. That looks like a good plan. That's almost cheating. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Huh? Cheating, getting the job done, whatever you want to call it. Hey, what's going on, boo? What's you guys up to? Putting the primary spring in so we can check out some pop pop here. Here, almost perfect timing. Sweet. Good timing for me to mess something up or what? All right. Yeah. All right. We'll pop this cover back on the spring. The rest of it's kind of boring. We're just gonna undo what we did, and we'll be back. All right. So we just put these weights in a while back. And I was starting to put this thing back together and I noticed two of them are kind of sticky. So we're gonna pop them out there. They're the weights that came from Evo, but I think the black ones are stock weights. So let's open these up. All right. 
Yeah, they're a little stuck. So I'm not sure what's going on because these are the kind with their own little washers. All right. So I I feel like this little gap in here is what's going on. What do you think? I think that gap is what's going on right there. So this, so here's the one that's not sticky. Just drops right in, no problem. This one, even to push it in. Maybe uh, use the vise and smash it. Just yeah, I want to be careful, but with it. But let's go check it out. It definitely looks like it. The bushing came out. So let's go check it out. All right, so I squeeze this one a little bit, and it definitely feels better. So I guess we'll just do the same. I don't know why. I don't know why they tightened up. I'm not going to worry about mixing them up because they're offset stock ones. So I'm just going to pull them all out, get them all squeezed back together. Yeah, that feels, I don't know. It feels good. So we'll pop these back in, and we'll come back. We're going to pop these back in. We'll get this over there and get ready to put back in the car. Here's what we're doing. We took out all the old putts. And we're putting in new putts. Um, so it's a weird, kind of weird. I don't understand this. If anyone out there does, you can tell me. But you got a hole like this, and all these putts are the same. These are the ones that the putts fell out of. I thought the putts were bad. They just fell out. They were worn, so this is fine. But this hole's different. If you look at that hole, can you see that in the screen? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Compare it to that hole. Totally different. So you have this one, this one, and this one. Three, uh, three of them are like that. The rest are not. I don't understand what that's about. If anyone knows, yeah. I don't understand. I don't know. But in the meantime, we're dropping them in, kind of getting them set, like just kind of set on there flat and then giving them a little tap in. All right, so we got all the pots in. I'm just gonna see how it feels sliding in right now. Yeah, it feels good. So um, now what we gotta do is find the mark. There's the mark, there's the mark, there's the mark, right there. All right, here's the mark. Now what we gotta do is pop in these three that, that come out for what I don't understand. I don't understand why, but they do. So we put that one in. Alright, I think we're good. Did we get our mark? Yep. So we got our mark. Alright, I'm gonna, um, you know, I'm not gonna squeeze this together because we have a wide open path to get to the car. So let's go throw this on the car. Oh man, did you see that? Well, that wasn't easy. <laughs> did you see that? That's ridiculous almost. Okay, so we just popped that thing on. I kind of jumped the gun. We'll go ahead and uh, torque it down right now with the torque wrench. Very good. Awesome. And factory. <sighs> That's pretty nice, dude. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like $8 million, though, huh? That's not bad at all. <laughs> there we go. Until it's early birthday present. Didn't you already get one of those? Look at that, dude. My birthday's every month. Oh, Look at that. What? That is freaking nice. Yeah, you know the difference. You've done oh, this. Yeah. That is nice. Ouch! Um, Watch your fingers. Pinch points. Be careful. Should have done a safety briefing. All right. That is nice. Belt goes on. Watch that thing. Watch the thing. We've all seen me struggle with these a few times. Be careful. Uh, did you, can you see the read the writing? I forgot to check. Yes, sir. You got it backwards. Yes, I do. Uh, is that? Yep, that way. Don't test me, my hand. Uh, do primary first? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not just kidding. There you are. Mm -hmm. Feels alright. Watch Feels your fingers. Right. Watch your fingers. I'll just turn that shit. Man.
Take it off there? Yeah, you gotta take it off. And then, uh, once you take it off, you can let the primer in the second half. That'd be nice if Ken Ann just put one of those, you know, when you buy a 2021. We are putting the cover back on. Yep, so we put the belt, DJ put the belt back on. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the new spring in. We got the primary torch. We freed up a couple of weights that were a little sticky. Uh, this is so awesome. Now, don't mind my uh, clutch hover, it's a little busted up and missing some of the tabs. That's okay, it still works. We don't worry about that. We're gonna pop this back on because it's so awesome. So awesome, this is the only way to go. Did you order one, Ryan? Huh? Did you order one of these, kid? No, I just had like four bolts holding in, so <laughs> take it right off. <laughs> Seriously, I only have four bolts holding in. Huh? It's still loading. Oh. I am. We're missing the gasket going over there. STW. Woo! Oh, it is! Alright, we'll be right back. We're gonna go do some pop pop. maybe <laughs> all right so we got this thing back together what we do Danny we put the primary spring in for 2300 rpm correct yep we got a passenger we put that spring in for 2300 rpm and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how it launches all right so what we did like I was saying we got the spring in for 2300 rpm we let it warm up a little bit we put some air on the tire we put the rear stabilizer back bar back on because we we're about to pull out without it on uh, ran it up, it looks like it hits about seven pounds of boost. We're gonna go see what it does. I mean, I'm not gonna run a zero to 60, that's a, that's a, that's a video coming up. Watch this. We were at a 2100 stall before. Watch yourself, this is gonna roll back. We gotta get 23 before, we're, oh wait, 245? What? Did you get a blue spring? Hey. Oh, it started rolling. It kicked in about 23. Is it blue spring? Or what color spring? Uh, orange. Well, yeah. yeah, it's there. All right, let's get this.
you think? I think it's faster. Think it's gonna break the four second threshold? I don't know. Pretty damn close already. We ran four twos last time. Four eighteen. I think, I think it was four eighteen. Four one eight last time, wasn't it? Right. Four one eight last time, wasn't it? So those are two wheel drive. We're gonna do a four just to see. He wants out. Hey, you one more. No, you don't. It's too hot. Huh? No, you don't. It's too hot. Super hard launch and full dive. We're back to just bouncing that front end. I, it definitely came off the ground this time. It's definitely gonna bounce at the yeah. course. Oh, now that uh, this, our closed course where we've been running, the latest one, has pretty rough uh, asphalt, so it's still gonna bounce a little bit. It won't bounce as bad as it uh, as it does out here on the smoother side. So. Because this, it just it's this. I think it actually grabs more in a way and it pulls the front end off the ground, then it spins and then drops and spins. So, yeah. Uh, but, oh, sorry. yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's that. We did it. We put the pop pop tune in. So, like Brandy says, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, hit dislike twice if you don't like it a lot, or something like that. And Brandy said peace. She can't be here for this one. She'll be here for the 0-60 to 60 coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. Peace. Peace.